Hello, and welcome back to Automatal Easter on the Fans Gaming channel in collaboration with Hectix Gaming. So, if you want to know what part 5 is, obviously go to Hectix Gaming channel, uh, watch it there, then come back. And uh, for part 7, yeah, just head on over there and uh, watch that and come back here for part 8. Simple. Um, right, we've decided to stop, just flouts to stop filming the trolls, um, the ones we're about to make for each other, just add a bit of secrecy to the whole thing, so that when the next person comes along and starts, it's like, oh, where did this come from? So yeah, um, let's see what our, what Hectic has left for us in our garage. Ah, uh, what the fuck. <laughs> I am holding my head in my palm. What is this? Oh, this is cute. This is cool. Jesus Christ. It's... The wheels are sick. But... Oh my god, what the fuck? What is this bumper? It looks like Drift City has come back. In a... Oh my god, in like a rage. What is this? It's like... A Volkswagen Harlequin, but... Worse. What is this? Oh God! Please tell me it's at least like tuned properly to make it, you know, to ease the pain. And also, th this uh, grey screen. I'm gonna just fast forward like that because <laughs> I actually learned the fast forward button in the emulator now. Can bypass those uh, pesky long ass loading screens. Uh, let's see what the settings are. Why are the brakes so shit? Put there. I'm, I'm just seeing it's like he's trolled me with the uh, suspension settings at all. I think all soft might be better for, for a high end, I don't know. No boost? No boost? How the hell does it do that? <laughs> 400 horsepower. I swear, this doesn't actually move after we look at all these parts. Uh, I'm gonna pop to there for the gear ratio. It might do better with more, but I'm gonna hold off for now. Christ. This car's horrible. <laughs> Ugh. Like, I, I know that, like, he was taking requests for, um, cars to use. I don't think anyone in the right mind requested this car. <laughs> um, but just to, just want to show you guys something. Because man eats oh my god that's amazing. Like that. Hectic didn't actually notice in his video that I put three spokes on the Mustang. So I want to see if he went back Nope! He did not notice. <laughs> Obviously he's going to notice now, but um, just the fact that I've snuck that by him is enough for me. Oh, this car's horrible. God. I have to use it as well. I won't have to use it, but I'm going to use it. To be a good sport, I'll use it. Right, we have the Urban Championship, which is four races long. Uh, which, obviously, I'll struggle with. I'm driving a sodding Hyundai. But I'll tell you what though, in, in NFS Underground 1, when you unlock the Hyundai Coupe, it was a godsend in that game. It appeared at the right time, and then it, you know, you kept it until you got the Acura RSX, whichever you car you liked. Yeah, it was, it was good, you know? But to use it after having an Evo in this game, no. Just no. RX3 looks sick though. Right, why is car spinning? It's front wheel drive. Why is it spinning? What the hell? A front wheel drive Hyundai is spinning out like it's an S14 Silvia or something. It doesn't seem like these opponents are that quick at least. I'm saying that the two guys way out in front. 
And I have to spun the car, so. So the Dome Zero? I have no idea when to actually break in this car. God, I'm just drifting a Hyundai everywhere. What's happened to my life? So, a little left there, a little right. I'm, just, I'm more scared of driving this than I am the Evo. But I think the Mustang handle better. That's, not, that's just a GT. It's not even a Cobra or anything. Oh, bonked off the wall. Ooh, brake hard for that corner. Another Hyundai. We are Hyundai brothers. Not that I want to admit that. Being a Hyundai anything. The ratios aren't too bad for this course at least. If I have to, I'll uh, increase them, but I think we're doing alright. I've called back up with three laps actually for this race. It's not too bad. We've caught up to first place. We might actually beat him. Which would be nice. Nice fast section here. My Honda's getting to 170? Can I get 180? Yeah, I can do 180. Oh, it's a Civic. It's an EK9 in first. Hell yeah. If it beats me, I don't feel bad. Oh, what the hell? He just crashed. Typical Rice Bro driving. If it was a real, like, Kando driver, they like, destroyed by now. I don't know. I'll, 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 get, I'll be mad if I get beaten by an EK9. You know, B Series family and all that. God, this car's so ugly to look at. I'm considering driving first person because it's that bad. Oh, I'm gonna get Hectic back, so. Mm, he's gonna get it after this. The car I leave for him will be the most grotesque thing. To the point where his channel will get flagged as inappropriate for displaying such ugliness on a video. That's not a threat, that's a guarantee. Backed by Hyundai Motor Corporation. Or whatever they call themselves. Ooh, drift from my Hyundai again. No, I'd actually mine the Tiburon. Or Coupe as we call it. It's a lot better than the new Hyundai's. It's just um, a few choice mods really make or break it. Like this, this body kit breaks it. You know. The car is broken. So the front's not too bad. The front is, um... It gives me that Drift City vibe. The back is horrible. Shame because the, the bonnet is sick, the wing is sick, but they're just stupid colours compared, compared to the rest of the car. Um, there we go. Came first. Annoying how I'm doing great with the Hyundai. A GK27 Tiburon. Well, now I know how to speak nerd in Hyundai. Got 10 points, EK got 8. Yeah, I think. This should be a bad championship. Looking at the uh, grid. I wonder if um, the grid changes based on the car you drive, actually. I might actually stiffen up the back end slightly. Just to see if that helps. Because um, I think. I've got a track even is now. Yeah, it's a Tokyo, another Tokyo track. So if it's more slippy, obviously it's not too much of an issue. We're on Tokyo still. It's a track we can bounce back on. I just want to sort of fine tune the car a bit while we're uh, here. Oh, that RX3 is so cool. It's like the Silvestra from GTA, which they put guns on for no reason. Not that I'm playing that like, guns on a car in GCA but yeah. With race two, this four race series. Oh yeah, handles way better now. Yeah. Back end is more planted. Oh shit. So I've got my little tuning technique down for this game now. You stiffen the back up a little bit for more grip. 
108 in my oh my god. Do you know what? <laughs> Back to reverse for a second. Don't mind. <clears throat> I should probably put like less braking force in the back, I guess. Also, don't do 180 in your Honda Coupe, because then you spin out. Just attack the Dome Zero, legendary sports car of Japan. Which never made it here, unfortunately. In fact, I don't think it made it anywhere. I think it was still a, a one-off kind of car, wasn't it? Or very low volume. Jesus Christ. Spun it again. Alright, why are you doing this now? Come on. Get ahead in the game. I forgot what plate says. High win. High lose, more like. Put more Hyundai stickers on it. So I didn't, I didn't want to look at it before, but I kind of have to look at the back end constantly. It's like I'm noticing all these extra things he's added. Also, the garage name, Hyundai for Life, which he changed. Jesus Christ. Man's gone all in with the Hyundai jokes. Which isn't too difficult since Hyundai is a joke. Map move your i30 ends. Because I don't care. I take a M130i. 140i. I don't know what you're even on anymore. <laughs> they change numbers too much, BMW. Everything has a number now. We're on to like cool like names, like Sierra. And I guess we have, still have Civic, but. Yeah. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna break early. You know, cars with names are a lot cooler than cars with numbers. In my opinion, unpopular opinion maybe, I don't know. These modern times. There we go. Second race, second win. I see what's coming for me though, VTEC kicked in, yo. Even the AI at the end can't handle the Hyundai, like, no, it's too wobbly. Right, that's great. Got 20 points, got a decent buffer now against the rest. The other Hyundai is doing shit though. So it's a driver mod, keeping this one alive. Where are we at now? Oh, Osaka Highway. I guess this is all, like, highway stuff, which is good. Um, doesn't help that the car's underpowered, but I guess the opponents scale to you. Uh, so I noticed with the Evo, you had, like, Vipers and stuff against you, whereas now I've got, like, the Hatchback Gang. About 8,001 RPM. Furious. This car was like the Hyundai. No, it, it's not, it is a Hyundai. This was the Korean like Tuna King, wasn't it? Back in its heyday. Hyundai's answer to the uh, Integra. And there's no real like other <laughs> standout car in that class, is there? You either had an Integra or you weren't worth anything. Oh my, not a decent drift out of a Hyundai, front wheel drive Hyundai. I know the Accent Rally car's in this, which is good. Pretty only good Hyundai in the game. Christ, God, it's so wobbly at speed. Well, I'm, I'm half thinking it's my controller settings. Because the dead zone... When I, when I watched Hector's video, um, his steering seems a lot more like stiff and accurate. When mine just like loose and vague. Like if I can watch one of his videos of Automatic Lista and you'll see like his steering seems a lot more kind of how it would be back in the day. Whereas mine is like I'm using an Xbox controller with no dead zone setting applied. So the car just drifts everywhere. Not just, you know, power sliding, but literally is drifting across the road. Oh god, that's funny. They didn't actually... Uh, they just caught up, so that's good. Oh, the Civic... What's the Civic doing? It's snaking. Why, 
this is this Drift City again? I'm actually playing Drift City. Same art style. Drift City was so underrated. Oh my god, this car! Wait, you spin more than a Beyblade. And I love Beyblades when I was a kid. The new ones are shit. I don't know what like possessed them to make them look like the fakes that were around in the early 2000s, like the really fat ones. That's what new Beyblades look like to me. It's like the fake plastic ones that explode on impact. I prefer like the old, like the old school. You know, you got your, got your base, you have got your spin gear, weight disc, and your attack ring, and your bit beat, and it was all interchangeable. And it was all cool. That's the Beyblade I used to love and actually play. I was one of the best bladers in my school because I cheated. I had one of them um, Chinese weight discs, which was just completely circular. So it was basically the best defense and extremely like long endurance. So all we had to do was just put a good attack ring on it, and I'd live forever basically. And then I decided to take the base off so it would be really, really low because low is a lifestyle. And uh, basically just trip people over. Beyblade. Beyblade uh, battles. And it wasn't really banned or anything. It was just, please don't use that anymore. I'll just use it as a normal Beyblade, please. <laughs> Put parts on it. I guess I have it somewhere as well. I've got a drawer full of old Beyblade parts, which I've noticed on eBay have gone like really kind of worth a lot of money, so I'm just throw them up there because <laughs> they're just sitting in the drawer right now. They were six pounds when I was a kid, and I'm seeing for like 30 40 quid on eBay. It makes me wish I kept the boxes to be honest, but I guess when you're a kid, you don't care about the uh, resale value of the things you buy. So there we go, third race, third win, third uh, puke about to have. Yeah, we're, we're so far ahead, we could lose the next race and still come out on top. Yeah, no problem, not a problem. The car's a problem, but not <laughs> the racing. Racing's fine. Alright, here we go. Last one, Tokyo Rain. Ooh, actually, tuning then. Get me some rain tires. Um, which ones are good for? Ah, okay. Sports radial. And we will have falcons, like I have in real life. Um, I think we should up the grip a little bit. And brakes need a bit of fettling. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. I'm happy. For now. Now I'm unhappy. <laughs> I was happy in a loading screen where I don't see the thing. Come back and it's just, ugh, my eyes. Right, final race. This thing is going to get absolutely drenched. And then destroyed when we win the race, I'll send it back to the garage and I'll destroy it. I'll take a hammer to it. God, this car's ugly. I'll tell you what, when it's raining, the car handles better in the rain. I don't know what that says about the car itself, but it's handled, handled great in the rain. Got my controller rattling. If anyone wants to donate to the controller fund, go for it. I don't abuse my controllers at all, but it's literally, this thing's been used so much. This is my PC slash Xbox controller, so it gets used a lot. Oh god, that's way too much uh, speed into that corner. Christ, the steering sucks. Past the Hyundai. Is that Dante on it? <laughs> I just saw Dante on that Hyundai. Oh shit. Tony! Hey! 
Love that Tony me. Hey, Dante's back. I didn't actually notice Dante was on that home though. I don't think Hectic's never actually noticed was I put Dante on the uh, the Evo. And he didn't even mention anything about it. Which I felt was a bit rude. Like Dante's a legend. You should comment on him and his brilliance. I've never actually played Devil May Cry. Because I've watched Let's Plays and I do like how it looks. I'm just not into that kind of gameplay. Oh, a little drift tap. Almost on the last lap. Last turn. Of this lap. I think Civic hit the wall and slowed right down because I'm on his ass again. Never mind. He gaps me hard on the straight though. I mean, I'm not surprised, but damn. I'm break a bit early. Yeah, he just stops dead mid corner. That's definitely the AI cheating. Like, I don't want to hit the corner, I hit the wall, so I'll just stop the car dead. I'm trying to stay off the curb so I don't hear my controller rattle. Like, in, like a Hyundai interior. Oh, there you go, it's immersion. There we go. Were you, were you hearing actually the Hyundai interior rattling away? The only thing that would have saved this car was like a K pop rap. Girls' Generation or something. A Homer. Even BTS. Even a BTS rap would have saved this car. <laughs> Anything but like this mess of colours. Oh, what the hell? Will you stop doing that? Oh, please don't get me. Please don't get me. Please don't get me. <laughs> hey, we did it. And the whole championship actually got through it. Absolutely fine. Right. Next. It shouldn't be next race. There we go. Now I've got a trophy. It looks like a baby's hand holding an apple. Ah, more engine tune ups. There we go. Uh, more stuff for the garage. A trophy for the garage. More sticker samples. And a mail that I'm not even going to read. Right, so. Now level 6 is here, um, it's another 4 race championship, that will be 4 hectics to do. Mountain championship, oh that's going to be all uh, mountain passes. Mmm, what can I give him to really, really annoy him for that? Oh, I hate this thing. Stupid looking card. Do you know what, just, just for the sake of um, saving everyone's eyes. Let's just, um, how do you, I, I was trying to delete the words, but okay. Let's bring out the Evo again. Is he, did he, did he Evo? No, he kept it. Huh. Just to save everyone's eyes, I put the pink Evo back on the screen. There we go. <laughs> right. Uh, thank you, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, obviously episode seven be on Hex Gaming channel as I mentioned before. Uh, leave him some anti Hyundai propaganda for me please. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I think you know when you um, when you play with the Middle East, there's one of them games where it's like it lasts about two hours. So doing it this way is actually you know, making it very, very enjoyable. Adding a bit of fun in between a uh, race. He's, he's skipping half the races, essentially, but, you know, it's fun. It's more fun. Uh, try it home with your friends, I guess, if you want to. But yeah, I'm going to um, head off and uh, invent a troll for Hectix and take my time with it as well. Because it'll be done off camera. And yeah, I will. I'll see you guys in part 8, but obviously watch part 7 to see what I've actually done to Hectics. <laughs> right, see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Shout out to Tyler49877.